the running has kind of gone off a bit of a cliff. I'm going to get back onto it again on Monday. Uh, last time I went for a run was like, what, Wednesday or something? And it's now Saturday, which is way too long. Um, but I'm planning on doing, I'm not planning. I will do a bit of an experiment next week. I want to do seven days of running. I want to do a minimum of three miles of running each day on the same time a day, well, the same time per day, basically when I wake up in the morning. And I want to just see how my body reacts because I need to get it back into some st- flow of like running and getting my heart rate up to a certain level because this sort of like sedentary lifestyle where i'm just watching movies and reading loads of books and you know watching documentaries and catching up on social media isn't the best way to go about living um i need to find that refine that spark relight that fire relight the fire uh, right, I need to do that. I need to do that ASAP. I'm sure others are probably going through the same thing, but I'm going to run a little experiment because I love doing those little things. So this time next week, I should have a review and an update as to how I'm getting on. But the plan is to do, or not the plan, what I'm going to execute is running three miles per day for seven days monday to sunday and i want to see how my body reacts and kind of go from there because i just need to get back into some level of flow man this sedentary lifestyle isn't for me this is why i'm really anxious and you know um eager for the world to open up not because i want to go to a club anytime soon because i'm not i'm sure it's not going to happen um you know especially in the tory government here that we live in the uk those guys are super opposed to any sort of bits of fun so this it's likely that that stuff isn't going to be it's most likely going to be the last things to reopen. I just want to be able to go to the gym again. I want to be able to get a haircut. You know what I mean? I wasn't even, again, if you watch some of the older episodes of the podcast, even from last year, I wasn't really that big on haircuts. I'd get them when I needed to get them, right? If I was going on a holiday, if I needed to just spruce up my look, whatever. Um, mostly because I'm lazy and also mostly because I just have, I consume so much American content, especially when it comes to hip hop and urban culture. And you get to see so many amazing um, dudes rocking sick haircuts and it gets you like a bit depressed and then when you start going to your guy around the corner and he charges you eight pound and you end up looking like you just did it yourself it really kind of breaks your heart so sometimes i don't want to be disappointed so i'll just not get i'll just like refuse to get a haircut or if i do get one i'll get one at the point where anything would i'll get a haircut when i'll get a haircut at, at a point where my hair is at where just any any amount of cleaning up and sprucing up the edges is going to make it look better um so now at the moment i found a pretty good guy who i get my haircut from he's like a middle eastern dude it's funny because it's right next door to like a traditional caribbean uh, barbershop and they always sometimes give me a bit of a side eye when i rock up to the middle eastern guy but it's like he's better right it's not even a fact of like i don't want to go and support my fellow brethren but he's just a better barber it is what it is it was like this other barber i used to go to um near where i live too that was next door to a really hipster barbershop the kind of barbershop that gives you like whiskey right and all that sort of shit and it was really good it was a bit expensive and the guy that cut my hair was a spanish dude um i guess i think he's from barcelona but they cut hair amazingly um but i just couldn't be bothered with all the side eye and i had to and then one time i did go to the you know this caribbean barbershop next door and it was pretty shit the haircut but obviously it was cheaper so then the next time i went back to the hipster barbershop i had to take like the back road so that i didn't pass the the caribbean the caribbean place um that was quite embarrassing um so yeah um that's all i want man i want to be able to get a haircut and also want to be able to go to the gym um i was never really you know you you don't know what you what you love or what you need until it's gone and that's one of the big parts of my life that i kind of just need to come back to some sort of level of regularity and just saying maybe just the ability to go to a pub and just get a pint on a saturday right you just go for a walk you just get a pint have a little sit down watch whatever's on the tv even if it's cricket like the amount of people that are going to be doing that going forward now is going to be insane people because i remember that was to be a thing where especially in east london where i live most of the pubs here are just kind of you know um inhabited by people who just kind of it looks like they live there monday to friday or monday to sunday sometimes right and you never i never really got it i was like these guys are weird alcoholics you get really judgmental but then the more you think about it, you think to yourself, like, what is there really to do when you're an adult? What kind of hobbies do you actually have? You have your kids, then probably moved out. You might have a wife or a partner still. Maybe not. Maybe you're separate. Maybe they, they unfortunately passed away. 
Um, and the one thing that's going to keep you sane is being around people, right? We're social creatures. We need to be around other human beings, even if it's just being in a shopping mall and rubbing shoulders with people as you go and fight over the last pair of large uh, boxer shorts, right? You need to be around someone. You need to be around people, some humans. So the idea of going to a pub on a weekend and just sitting there and kind of looking out the window doesn't seem that much of a bad idea anymore now that we've been stuck indoors for the best part of a year. Do you know what I mean? So I definitely get it. I can definitely assume, I can definitely predict that going um once things open up there's going to be people doing things people are going to be end up doing things that they probably didn't do to the regularity they did in the past like people are probably going to museums and galleries every single weekend trying to make sure they hit these places just in case it kind of locks up again because you know i didn't even take the gym um i took the gym for granted when it re reopened right i kind of booked i think every day during the week but then i only went like five days during the week but now i'm just gonna go just for the sake of it even if it's just to get stretching um it's good to get out of the house and limber up whatever it may be so yeah man um loads of things have sort of changed um i think during this during this lockdown loads of perspectives have been shifted and just uh, again i think maybe first or second lockdown there was this idea of like wanderlust and travel fomo you just wanted to go out and explore the world but i think after the third one i'm more just like you know what like i'm not taking for granted to just my my uh, my shores right where i live this little island that we live on now going you know to places outside of london more often going to places like scotland island and visiting or whatever it may be um just taking advantage of this place i live in and kind of exploring as much as i can because you never know when it's kind of when that freedom to move around is going to get taken away from you so yeah that's that, that's the eye-opening take of the day that was sponsored by trello i don't know <laughs> somebody it doesn't matter